with a 3-4-5. Sydney Showground Speedway March 6, 1965. Two cars now on the track for the start of the International Match Race Series. First car to move away, number four, the M&D Motors Holden Special, driven by Peter Canine, just returned from Adelaide. Also on the track to match Peter Canine in this three-lap international match race is New Zealand champion Merv Neal in the Offenhauser Car 10. Neal has drawn position one on the inside of Canine as both cars draw together and move towards the start. They're racing first time. The leader, if they hit the bottom corner the first time around, is... The next two cars competing in this, the International Match Race Series, are now on the track. Car number 54, the S.O. Wells Holden, Lou Marshall from position two. Position one in a borrowed car, Brian Mannion's car to be exact, is visiting New Zealander Barry Butterworth. Both cars draw level in the back stretch. Butterworth on the inside, car 88. Marshall on the outside in car 54. They move through the pit corner towards the starting line. Three laps, rolling start. They're racing first away. The roar from the crowd is due to the fact that in this, the third and final of the International Match Race Series, Johnny Stewart will replace Jeff Freeman to match race Bob Tattersall. Both cars now move away. Johnny Stewart moves through the top corner. Cars now in the back straight away. Moving up to their positions, it appears as though Tattlesall has drawn position one in car 54, the Offenhauser. Johnny Stewart in car number one, the McGee Shell track burner from position two. They head for the start. They're racing. Equal as they make the top corner the first time around. Stewart might have a slight advantage as they head towards the back straight away. It's... We move on now to event number 19. The second most important speed car event on the Sydney showground calendar for 1965. It's the Australian Grand Prix to be decided over 30 laps rolling start. 20 cars are now underway on this one third of a mile Sydney showground speedway. Bob Tattersall, one of the favoured drivers, driving the Offenhauser car 54. Tattersall won the event in 1960-1962 and was placed third in 1963. Other drivers which must come into consideration include Jeff Freeman, Johnny Stewart, Peter Canine, Brian Canine, several others. Out of a field of 20 cars, it's anybody's race. The cars now move through the pit turn starting to take up their correct position. Once in position, they'll be dispatched for the long journey of 30 laps. Pole car in the event is number 24, the Holden driven by Don Hunt. Position two will be filled by Sid Middlemas in car 97. Behind them will come Walbrooker. Then in a borrowed car number 88, New Zealand driver Barry Butterworth. Sid Reed in car number three. Johnny Pears in number 20. Kevin Park in 66. Merv Neal from New Zealand in the Offenhauser car 10, Sid Clark in car 51, Johnny Stewart in car number 1, Brian Canine in 55, Len Brock in car number 2, Lou Marshall 54, Peter Canine in number 4, Bob Tattersall 54, the Offenhauser, Jeff Freeman 75, the Offenhauser, and at the rear of the field will be Peter Boland in car 61, last year's winner Ken Morton in car 18, Laurie Seidel in car 44, and Al Staples driving car 12. The cars are in position, they move through the pit turn towards the straightaway. The race is on, first away is John Hunt from Sid Middlemas. On the inside goes Barry Butterworth. On the outside comes 29 Brooker. There's Mayhem in the top corner as they move through for the first time. Kevin Park getting a good break through on the inside, passes Sid Reed. Johnny Stewart also gets through on the inside of Reed as they manoeuvre to the pit bend. The leader at the moment is John Hunt, followed by Barry Butterworth. Then comes Johnny Beers. On the outside comes Sid Middlemas, followed by Sid Clark. Then comes Kevin Park, Johnny Stewart. Behind then comes car number 29, Ford Booker. Inside comes car number four, Peter Ganin. They walk it into the back stretch on the second time. 
all cars are now underway for the running of the annual 1965 World Speedcar Championship. This event to be decided over 35 laps rolling start. Pole car in tonight's World Derby will be car number 29, Wal Brooker. All the starters are now underway and taking up their respective starting positions. It appears as though Brooker is a scratching. That means position one will go to car 44, Laurie Seidel. Close in behind Seidel will be Bill Kerno from South Australia in car number four. Behind him, Brian Mannion, 88, Sid Reed, car three. Johnny Pierce in car 20, Brian Kinnean, 55. Sid Clark in car 51, the Pond Holden. Behind them, the current world champion, Kevin Park in 66. Then comes Merv Neal from New Zealand in car 10. On the inside, Barry Butterworth in the former Ravel Offenhauser car 7. Len Brock in car number 2. Johnny Stewart in car number 1. Car number 5, Bill Good from Queensland. Behind them, Peter Kinnean in number 4. Blair Shepard, 99. Bob Tattersall from the United States in car 54. Lou Marshall in Australia, 54. And the back marker in this event, Jeff Freeman in the Mackay Offenhauser car 75. The event will be run over 35 laps, rolling start. Stretch should be a start this time around. Dial the pole car in 44. They move through the pit turn towards the starter. The World Derby is on. The leader is Brian Mannion in car 88. Next is Seidel in 44. On the outside, Kerno in car 4. Then comes Reed. On the inside, it's car number 20, Johnny Pierce. Followed in by Sidney, And behind them comes Sid Clark, Johnny Pierce. On the inside, Murphy from New Zealand, Johnny Stewart on the outside, further back then to Peter Ganeen.